hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video today I'm gonna show you how I made this balloon ring using a hula hoop and 99 cents balloons first things first we want to go ahead and purchase a hula hoop you can get this at the 99 cents and if you don't find it there another place that you can get it for a reasonable price will be Walmart also too you want to get a spray paint especially one that you're able to paint on plastic and then also to here I got a table cover just to use it in the bottom of the ring while I was spray painting so here uh, as you can see I already have put the ring on top of the table cover and now I am getting ready to spray paint the hula hoop I do what you want to do um, is definitely spray paint at a distance um, you want to do the whole entire top Part, just like I'm showing you here um, and you can see you know how shiny this one looks actually I love the color by the way um, and you want to let that sit for over an hour and just let it dry I found that this actually dried in under less than an hour but usually that's what they recommend before you take it out turn it around and do the back side so you want to make sure it's completely completely dry before you do the back side now I'm going to show you um, the other items that I got. So at the 99, you guys, I found these balloons. I fell in love with the colors, um, just the pink tones, and um, my inspiration was baby shower. So I wanted to make sure that I got all pink balloons and things that went with it. And I also got a balloon pump. This was a dollar as well. And then those extra tissue paper balls that you see, this is from another party that I did a while back and I never used them. So I decided to just throw it in the mix and see if it was something that I wanted to use after all. Um, here, actually, I'm showing you the baby balloon. I actually found this at the 99. As soon as I saw it and I saw the color, I was like, we're going to do a baby shower balloon ring. Not that I needed to do a baby shower one, but for the purposes of this video, I just thought it would be cute. I also have these long balloons that I bought. I wasn't sure if I was going to use them or not, but I again, I threw them in the mix. I wanted to make sure to see, you know, how the ring was going to come along and what things I was going to use and what not. So let's start and jump right in on the steps. So what I did is... I started with my white balloons. I had different sizes actually. The ones that I bought at the 99 were just a tad bit bigger, but then I found these on my stack of party supplies. There are about five inch balloons that I started blowing up. Um, if you saw me squeezing them down, it's because um, that gives them more of a round shape versus a pear shape when you blow them up. So you can squeeze them down as you take out some of the air before you um, close them up or you can just do it the way that I did. Um, here I'm showing you the cluster. This is what we call a balloon cluster. I went ahead and blew up four balloons, different sizes, and I went ahead and tied them together to create what we call a balloon cluster. Now I'm showing you that I'll be doing the same with the other colors. So here I put the light pink, this is one of the colors that I absolutely love and I start by tying, you know, two balloons together, I tie the other two and then I tie them all together, a cluster of four balloons like that. And I would do that for the rest of the balloons before I show you how to put them on the ring. But before I do that, let me show you the baby balloon sign. Isn't this adorable? I am in love with the pink color. Just something about that pink tone that just, just seemed beautiful. Again, I got it at the 99 cent store. It was $2, so it was $1.99. Um, but still, I thought it was pretty good for the price, being that it's the whole entire word baby. Um, and it comes with a little straw that you use to blow up, you know, the whole entire balloon. And they're all connected, which makes it easier, you know, to put together. So I wanted to show you that. Let's just move right along. Alright guys, on to the ring. So as you can see, it's nice and dry. Now I can use it. 
and um, I already have pre um, done the balloons I did that actually the night before so I'm getting them ready taking them out um, again what we call the balloon clusters just so that I can start tying them around the ring and you will not believe how actually easy it is to tie them around um, because you don't need much just the balloons themselves are gonna go ahead and tie around the ring here I was just trying to choose which color to start first and um, work my way around it so you know as you can see I literally just get the balloons and twist them you know around each other and you want to do that like maybe once or twice actually I take that back two times to three times Will be better because it will secure it and keep it tight if you do it once it's just gonna fall so i'm showing you there i think i did it about two three times and that worked um here i'm deciding you know which color i wanted to do next um if you can see already some confetti on these balloons is because before i even started all this one of my um so what do you call it like the sprinkle confetti balloons popped on me so it was all over the place and they just got on the balloons and I thought that was okay but anyways as you can see here I am trying to tie the pink one right next to the um, first color I did I don't know what you consider that like a peach tone and as you can see I pulled a little too hard and it popped but no problem do not despair if that happens you guys you can just replace the balloon tie it up and make it all better so in this case that's what i'm doing you guys i just went ahead and blew up another balloon try to make it the same size as the other ones um i want to say these were nine inch balloons but i decided to make them small just because the particular ring that i had was small Again, you can see me squeezing the balloon down, taking some air out and making it a little bit more of a round shape. Um, and I'm just gonna tie wherever the other one popped. Okay, once you secure that, here you go. We made the cluster again. Once you secure that, you wanna go ahead and start tying them around the ring. Again, you can twist them around each other I would do it two times no more than three or else you're gonna pop it like I just did um, but one is too little it will fall so there you go I did it two three times and if you're seeing spaces here don't worry because I'm gonna teach you how to um, show you how to fill in those spaces so right now I'm just trying to choose what color I want it next I wasn't sure you know if I was gonna go for the white or if I was gonna go for the confetti balloons and um, I think at this point I already had decided that white it is so there's my white balloon cluster I'm gonna repeat the same process and you can fast forward if this is um, going too slow for you but you get the point guys I wanted to show you how I was tying each one of the clusters how I was choosing the pattern that I wanted and again time two three times around each other and secure it around the ring so there you go looking beautiful and bright we're not done yet guys not quite I mean almost but not quite I still have the confetti ones and I'm deciding which side I want to put them at um, and it looks like the peachy color balloons um, that's where it looks better I don't know I'm just digging that side of the the ring um, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure that and let me fast forward this video so you can see what I did to fill in the spaces all right guys so in order for us to fill in the spaces you definitely want to take a look to see where you see like empty space or where you can see through the ring wherever your balloons are at um, you want to make sure that you are creating a few more balloons that you're able to stick on and fill in those gaps so here I'm showing you I use glue dots these I bought a huge pack you guys I think there was like I don't know eight of these in a pack from Amazon and I love them because when I do balloon garlands I definitely use um, glue sticks um, glue dots I'm sorry I apologize glue dots um, yes I'm talking to myself in the video because I was like figuring out um, how to 
show you which of the sides of the balloon I was gonna put him at so in this case where this balloon was gonna be at I needed to put glue dots on the side of it so I'm showing you you just kind of stick it on and then you pull and you see the glue dots already on the balloon and you want to do that for both sides and then stick in with the other balloons next to it. So let me show you really fast. There you go. That particular pink balloon is placed there with the blue dot. There where I showed you with my hand, I am missing a balloon. You saw that gap. It looks like a big gap. I want to go ahead and fill it up and I decided white will be better. One thing that I've learned about filling up spaces is... Depending on the ring and where you need the balloons, you want to keep kind of like the colors consistent. I mean, it's up to you what kind of um, ring you're doing, what colors you're using. But, you know, in that particular case, it seemed like on the white side of the ring, it needed like another white balloon. Therefore, I chose, you know, to put white. And again, I'm showing you, we repeat the same process where you stick on the glue dots on the sides that you're going to stick the balloons together. And then you just pull up the white strip and then there you go so there you go I'm showing you a close-up and I'm showing you other spaces that I feel like needs more balloons so again I'll go ahead and um, try to do this one quickly because I felt like there was a little spot there that needed a balloon um, I'm squeezing them down again to make them a little bit more round shape. In the meantime, I'm taking out some of the air just to make the balloon a little smaller. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I think I got 9 inch balloons. That's what they had available. Um, and I knew I was working with a smaller ring, so I wanted to make the balloons a bit smaller than 9 inches. So in this case, I'm going to put this one right there. And again, keeping it consistent with the colors. There you go, guys. So you see how that's coming together? You see how that looks with all the balloons now? In the middle, I want to go ahead and add the baby sign. So I'm going to show you that in a second. But um, meanwhile, this balloon was at the 99 I found it for two dollars you guys and look how pretty this color is I was absolutely just in love with the color that's why I went with the baby shower balloon ring um, because I just I love the pink color it looked absolutely adorable so here I'm just placing it I'm sorry if the balloons are covering the camera but I was trying to place it to see you know um, how was I gonna tie it um, there was two ways that you can go about it and I did try the first time the glue dots which appeared to work fine for a second but then I noticed that as I was moving the balloon ring um, they kept it kept coming off so I needed to secure it a little bit more and what I did was that aside from putting the glue dots you know like I'm showing you here I ended up using um, fishing cord if you call it and as you can see right here, you cannot even see it at all. But I ended up tying it where the A is at. And that wrapped around the ring. And that just secured the baby sign all together. So if you can see right here, look at that. How beautiful. I ended up using that tissue paper, if you can see in that corner, just to give it that, you know, look. But there you are. What do you think? Simple and easy, right? So let me know what you thought about this DIY balloon ring and comment below your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!